Hey friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to access your Gemini AI fine-tuned models through REST API. So first, let me show you the fine-tuned models which we have created in one of the earlier videos. So in this video, uh, in the earlier video, the description is in, uh, in this page I have uh, given and I'll post this link in my description below also. So I have created a fine-tuned model where what it does is it does an addition of two numbers, but not, it's a, not a straightforward addition. What it does is, okay, so let me show you an example. So what it does is say for example if your input is 2 plus 5 so it will add the uh, like it will multiply the second number by 2 and then add so it's basically 5 into 2 10 plus 2 10, 12 similarly 4 plus 3 will be like 3 into 2 is 6 plus 4 10 and 10 plus 5 will be 5 into 2 10 10 plus 10 20 so that's how it is happening so this is a bit of a twisted addition uh, because I wanted to use this to demonstrate that is really a fine-tuned model input what my AI is looking for while returning the value. So to access this uh, model, uh, the fine-tuned model through my REST API, one of the first steps which I'll need is to create my credentials, uh, OAuth to credentials. So I have already created uh, that also in my uh, one of the previous videos and the details are in this particular page. So I'll provide this link also in my description below. You can go through. So over here, uh, most of the things I have already done the settings in my previous video where I have uh, like given the authorization of uh, uh, the required uh, scope and all. However, in this video, I'll the only thing I'll need is I'll need to put in the access token. So I can use this particular command in my command prompt. So go to your command prompt and just run this command and it will give you the access token. Perfect. So we'll be using this particular access token in our code. You should not use my access token. Anyway, it will expire in some time. However, you should still not use someone else's access token. Okay. So now once our authorization is done, so the steps or the APIs to do that is available in this documentation uh, folder, uh, documentation page. Just go here and if you scroll down, somewhere it will give you that fine tuning options. Just go to this second link, fine tuning uh, tutorial and uh, if you are trying to do it in python it's fine but in this video i'll just show you how to do it quickly in rest api by using it in a postman so just scroll down so uh, in the initial part it has shown how to do the authentication and list tune models and create tune models so all those things are done we'll be just running the inferences just go in this space and it will say once your job is finished basically the twin model is created you can use it to generate text so we'll be using this particular uh, part in our postman to run it so just copy this and go to your postman and probably what we'll do is we'll import this control v and it's asking me whether i want to save no import without saving for now i'll continue and i'll replace some of these things so base url probably again i'll get it from the documentation only so if i go here so this is my base url so again i'll go back to my postman and i'll just change it then you input and model name will be so model name I'll get from my again over here the model ID basically. So just copy paste complete including the tune models and then go back your to your uh, postman and paste it. So and make sure you have the generate content uh, also there. After that go to the headers and in this beer access token I think the access token whatever we have copied here or you can copy directly from here also once again this should be completely copy it from here to here and go here and just paste it over here perfect and the other thing what we will have to replace is probably this project id okay so for project id what we can do is we can again go to my uh, google cloud and this is the project id what we will be using control c if i come back and here just paste it whatever you copied and now the last thing is in the body so it, this one, uh, what we copied from this particular documentation page, I think uh, we copied here. It was some text they have given. However, for testing purpose, what we'll do is we'll give our text, say for example, 2 plus 5, which I think we have used uh, for testing in our prompt over here. And it should be giving me 12. Okay, so let's run this and see if it works. Perfect. So uh, I clicked it and it this is the value 12 over here so as the output i can also do one thing i can change the uh, value so 
I will not use 4 plus 3, I will probably use something different. I will use something simpler, probably I will use 5 plus 1. So 5 plus 1 should be 7 because 1 will be multiplied by 2 and then add 5. So let me see if it gives me 7 or not. Perfect, 7. So that's all I wanted to show you in this short video that uh, how you can quickly uh, use the APIs to fetch or to access your tune models uh, through API in your Postman or you can use it in any of the other tools. So you have to just run this uh, uh, curl command and for that you will need the access token and you will need a project ID. So these two are the input parameters and uh, of course the model name and all. So all the other things I have explained in my previous video, link I will give in the description below. However, the, in this video, I just wanted to focus on how to run this uh, API. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put it in the comment section below. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.